Welcome back everybody. For this video we'll be discussing, I'll be discussing nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions and it's nice and easy, it's no tricks and turns to it and it will be a nice and short video. Um, there won't be multiple parts to it. Um, keep in mind that this is not the same thing as electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. The main difference between the two is that in this nucleophilic aromatic substitution you're substituting a halogen for a OH group because that's the group that I'll be focusing on. In electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions you're substituting a hydrogen for the incoming group. So let's get started into this topic. The main thing, the main thing you need to know is that this reaction only occurs when you have a halogen and a strong electron withdrawing group or a moderate electron withdrawing group in the ortho or para position relative to the leaving group and that leaving group is the halogen okay so I'm gonna write on the side right here the halogen equals your leaving group okay your LG so that's the main criteria you need to have a strong electron withdrawing group or a moderate electron withdrawing group in the ortho or para position relative to the bromine so let's go over a little quick reaction. The reaction looks like this. So if it's the criteria, you have a strong electron withdrawing group in the para position relative to the bromine, and you're substituting a OH group into the system. And this is the products. You're gonna have the OH group in the position where the bromine used to be, and you generate Br minus. So let's go over the mechanism for this. Okay right right here mechanism okay so we'll be discussing the mechanism uh, in this part now mechanism is pretty straightforward so let's look at this example right here we have this aromatic ring we have our bromine right we have our strong electron withdrawing group in the pair position relative to the bromine, right? We want to substitute that bromine for an OH group, right? So what happens is that the OH forms a bond with a carbon the bromine is attached to. A pair of electrons that's directly next to the carbon the bromine is attached to comes off and joins the carbon right here okay so the intermediate you form is this you form a negative charge because the pair of electrons are on that carbon now so you form a carb anion intermediate anion referring to a negative charge you have your strong electron withdrawing group you have your your bromine which is your leaving group and you have your OH now now what happens is that you regenerate your double bond here and the bromine gets kicked off with this pair of electrons so you regenerate your double bond okay you kick off this bromine and the product of this step is as shown below. You have your OH group now, and you have your strong electron withdrawing group, plus you have your Br minus now, because the pair of electrons are now with Br. There's eight electrons on bromine draw the lone pairs on it. Eight electrons calculate a little formal charge, there's the negative on the bromine. So some of you guys might be wondering why do you need a strong electron withdrawing group in the ortho or para position, in this case in the para position relative to the leaving group. The main reason for that is to stabilize that negative charge. So think about it for a second. 
Carbons don't like to have those type of charges on it, a negative charge, nor does it like to have a positive charge. In this case, we're dealing with a negative charge. There's too, many, too much electrons on that carbon. That's why it has developed that charge. So, you need a electron withdrawing group, a moderate or a strong, in order to pull away those electrons to help stabilize it. Now, let's think about the reverse. If we had a electron donating group in this position, this will be donating into the system. It will be adding more electrons to this position where the carbon is at. So this carbon is like, wait, wait, you're adding too much carbon here. You need to disperse some of this carbon. I mean, some of these electrons. And so that is why we have to have a strong electron withdrawing group or a moderate electron withdrawing group to pull away those electrons to help spread that electron density away to help stabilize that carbon and help stabilize that negative charge and that's why you have to have these types of groups present on the aromatic ring when you're doing this type of nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions so let's do a quick recap of what we have covered again we're dealing with uh, nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions you need to have a halogen so that's check we need to have a strong electron withdrawing group or a moderate electron withdrawing group in the ortho position or pair position so check check so those are the main criteria required in order to perform this reaction now your halogen is your leaving group Just keep that in mind the group that we will be substituting into the system is the OH and the reaction looks something like this okay so strong electron withdrawing group is in the pair position relative to the leaving group which is the halogen the bromine the OH substitutes in the system and attaches to the carbon where the bromine used to be at mechanism for this, uh, for this reaction is pretty straightforward um, OH forms a bond this O forms a bond with this carbon pair of electrons from the aromatic ring come off and uh, join this carbon to form this carb anion intermediate now what happens is that you kick off the bromine while regenerating your double bond and there you have it there's your product strong electron withdrawing group in the pair position now relative to the OH group and you generate this BR minus so the reason why you need a strong electron withdrawing group or a moderate electron withdrawing group in the ortho or pair position is in order to help stabilize the negative charge help pull away the electron density um, because it's too focused on this carbon and it's making it very unstable because carbons don't like to have negative charges so the best thing to do is pull away the electrons help release some of that tension that unst uh, instability instability and um, there you have it that's all it is in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions um, if you guys have any questions uh, please feel free to leave a comment uh, asking your question and if you guys have any topics you guys having do having difficulty with please feel free to post your difficulty and I'll be happy to uh, make a video in response so thank you for listening I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a uh, wonderful day thank you